In the meantime, uh, we're talking about these guys. Yeah, dead birds on D.C. sidewalks. The government apparently partly to blame for these bird deaths. Tonight, there's a bill to stop it from happening. Stephanie Ramirez live in D.C. with the story. Hey, Steph. Hey, so the issue has to do with birds slamming into building windows and crashing and dying, right? And we're being told that a lot of federal and local D.C. government buildings are also involved with this, including the skywalk here at the Washington Convention Center. But I'm told here at the Convention Center, they fixed it right away. So what you see now is like a mesh covering at the window where there's vertical lines. So the problem is less here, but there are those in the city who say more fixes like this need to be done. In one photo from the group City Wildlife, the bird hit a window so hard it left a dent. We talked with the group's president, Ann Lewis, who says there's two main problems. Either a bird can't see the window and is flying toward a tree or something they see beyond the glass, or they see a reflection of that something, a tree maybe, and hit the glass trying to get to it. We document everything. This is a plastic bag full of dead frozen birds that Lewis says her team collected from a 13 block stretch going from Union Station to Chinatown. Last year alone, the group says they collected 700 dead birds compared to around 200 in 2012. The number grew last year with more construction of glass buildings. We're part of a huge national and really international problem. Um, but being on the Atlantic Flyway, as D.C. is, and Philly, and New York, we get an enormous proportion of birds. Millions will be flying over, you know, tonight and all through May and June. Um, so to the extent our city is killing birds, which it is, we're part of a much larger problem. A Cornell University study says there's a crisis. In the past 48 years, nearly 3 billion North American migratory birds are gone. New York City introduced a bill to protect migrating birds from new construction in 2019. D.C. Council member Mary Che introduced a similar bill last week that would require new construction permits to have bird-friendly materials like silk screening or window decals. One thing that's notable is that many of these new buildings go up, that go up are lead, platinum, and gold rated. And it's just so wrong that lead, platinum, and gold buildings should be killing birds. We've got to do something about this. And I'm told City Wildlife has been tracking this issue in the district since 2012, and that also simply pulling down the shades on a window is not enough. That could actually amplify the reflection and make it worse. Back to you.